Okay, so this is a quick introduction into IGCC physics 5B pressure. So what have we got in this topic? Well, pressure in a fluid causes a force normal at right angles to any surface. The pressure at the surface of a fluid can be calculated using the equation force in newtons over area in meter squared gives you pressure in pascals. So if the area is meter squared and the force is in newton, then it is measured in pascals, PA, capital P little a, or pascals. If it's newtons per centimetre squared, you can't do it like that. You'd have to convert. You can leave an answer in, in centimetres squared. That's fine. But it's not Pascal's. Um, the pressure due to a column of liquid can be calculated using the equation. Pressure is the height of the column in metres times the density of the liquid times gravity. Now, personally, I would always write that if I go over here to rho g h because it's much easier to remember or rho g delta h, the change in height. So that's one of the other key formulas. Um, if you go deeper into a fluid, the mass, the volume, the density of the liquid above you causes pressure to increase and air bubbles will take up less room at a larger depth. You can calculate the pressure difference by using the equation twice and subtracting. So you can see the picture here. If I'm at different heights, when I change my height, I've got to change the difference to see the change in pressure. So there'll be a pressure at one height and a pressure at the second height. Um, floating objects has greater pressure on the bottom side, which is called upthrust. So that causes it to rise. Um, an object's density in comparison to a fluid causes floating or sinking. So density differences we need to look at. Um, a fluid is incompressible. So think about like brake fluid as an idea. So when we have a hydraulic system, the pressure in a fluid is the same everywhere, which means that a piston can transfer force to a larger piston and magnify its effect. So, for example, this scenario here, we've got a very small piston and a large piston and the pressure in the fluid, because the fluid is incompressible, um, we use this equation of the force in part one. So pushing 15 newtons over area one, which is this area, so force over area will equal the new force over the new area. Well, if I've reduced um, or increased my area, I will change my force. And so what happens in this case? We can magnify the force, like we said. The, the upshot of it is, so although this piston moves a large distance, this piston moves a small distance. So the work done is still the same, force times distance, which is kind of clever. Pressure then in a gas that comes into it as well is due to the number of and speeds of collisions of the molecules in a gas. So the pressure in the atmosphere drops as you go higher, up where the less molecules and the temperature drops, so they're not going as fast. Um, you also need to think about situations where there are high and low pressures. So we have like low pressure for an elephant, a needle, sort of in a, in a nettle. Sting would be very high pressure. Skates, they melt the ice underneath their high pressure. Feet of a swan, low pressure. High heels, high pressure. And then you've got the little trick there with the big wheels, so low pressure. So there you go. That's the topic we call pressure 5B.